just when I think I'm out. They pull me back in. I thought I was done with soft synths. I thought I was done with sample libraries. I thought it was over. I thought the relationship was good, but we were going to stick with what we've got and just work with that. And then output released analog brass and wins. So uh, this is Analog Brass and Winds from Output. Um, I really like uh, their products. They are sort of orchestral Some, Oh, the last two have been orchestral. The previous ones weren't, although we had a choir one, uh, a, vo a voice one. They're sort of uh, sample synthesizers. I don't know. I'm sure there's a technical term uh, for it. But I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I know that I like them. So I've, I've selected a couple of samples just to play around with and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them. So here we are, we're gonna kick off with uh, Willow Watcher. Nice. So, as you can hear, sort of orchestral, but with a little added extra. Um, and I'll, I'll just do a quick overview of uh, what's behind this for those of you who haven't seen one before. Um, you can probably see the side here. There's um, I've got all the other ones. Uh, Analog Strings was the, the last release, which was phenomenal. I thought, oh God, do I need another string library? Much in the same way as I thought, do I really want a brass and winds library but and then when you hear it you go yeah of course I do <laughs> yeah of course I do um, I like the fact that you can save your favorites to uh, just by starring them and then they they come I probably won't play through all of these or maybe I will who knows who knows um, so not really a brass or a wind sound at all, an arpeggio. Uh, there's a lot of synths in, in here that they've sampled to create these sounds and that you can play around with. beautiful hybrid isn't it of, of um, orchestral and a bit of synthiness that I think is really brilliant about these um, I'm always asking myself do I need another sample library the answer is invariably invariably of course
Nice. Wormhole. Probably going to be loud. I need to take a sip of tea before. Before I wormhole. Okay. I I would. around with the uh you just get lots of different weird things it's good very cool <laughs> Lost in fade. Pad, you see, a sucker for anything 80s. Okay, not much, not much going on there, but it's all right. Synth like synthy brass.
fun. Ostinato apps. Always have tea before ostinatos. I like this one, piano pads. Pop a little reverb on. Nice. Gayo the Gwens. Nostalgia. Sea of Fifths. I know this one. This is nice.
rice. Oh, last day, this will probably be apocalyptic, quite loud. Even my belly's rumbling at the thought of it. Be interesting when you play around with it. I think we all know what that's meant to be, and pretty cool it sounds too. because when you add, you know, it messes around with sort of perceptions of time signatures because the number of notes that's being played. Windy hope. Maybe my stomach is gonna winds and various winds and synths. Merge to create different sounds, really nice. Subtle, nice, subtle.
that's I, you know, yeah. <laughs> I, I just like the way it sort of mangled the sound. It's really quite, you know, you can just. It's quite inspirational. It'll take you somewhere that, you know, there's, there are certain phrases that you just feel fit with that kind of sound, I guess. Um, the inside out sounds a little bit like the upside down, perhaps. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Tronulate. Not sure why I chose that one. Driving 80s. I mean, that's chosen because it's got the word 80s in it. And because it's awesome. Let's wait for it to load and start again. Cosmic dust, dust, cosmic dust. change the rhythms. That's the shape of the wave or the steps. Change that to a step as well. Doesn't sound very good at the moment because I have But there's plenty to do here, lots of uh, controllability. you can make your own patches by popping in the samples so there's a loops pads yeah I'm sure with proper time and uh, it'll be a lot of fun Okay. <laughs> 